Swiss oil. It's good for parts, bad for just about everything else. This is something we do to protect our stuff. We've always had a system to be able to move programs from machine to computer without having to drag a card back and forth. The problem being the Swiss oil. Now, it's great for drawing heat out of parts and keeping everything lubricated, but it's horrible for anything made out of plastic. As you can see here, one of our old communication boxes has just fallen into disrepair, mainly from the Swiss oil landing on it and just eating away at it, and making it more and more brittle. It doesn't just do this to these, it does it to the power cord that runs to them and just about anything out in this environment. At the moment, we still want to use this software so the guys aren't having to walk from this unit to the computer, from there back to here over and over and over again, just to move a program back and forth. So what you can do is you can mount units like this inside. They provide lots of room in here so that you have a place to put them and it'll protect them from that oil. Should see its life increase, shouldn't have to maintenance it quite as often and ideally we actually get to use the software that we pay for. It's not too difficult to mount one of these internally. All you gotta do is find a place to ground it and find a place to pull power from. And then lastly, find a way to make sure that you can still communicate with your network. Thankfully, uh, most machine producers know that you're gonna be adding things on as you go about your business. So they provide stuff like that for you. You can see in here, there's a bus bar for the ground. There's another bus bar to draw power from. You can wire those direct to your unit and then just poke one small hole in the back that you can seal up later for an antenna and you're good to go. So if you're tired of your machining oil tearing apart your hardware, you might be able to find a way to mount it internally. Like and subscribe for more tips. Until next time.